Hi, sixth grade students. I hope everyone is doing well. I took a little bit of a break from our videos so that way everyone could get caught up on submitting videos of their work so far. As a reminder, yes, I do make a high recommendation that you post something, but this is part of your participation grade. So please post a video or some audio of you playing so that I can count that towards your class credit. Similar to what we would do in regular class if we saw each other um, twice a week. So our last video was on Regal March and finishing that up. And I'm going to be giving you some more information about putting it all together here in the next week or two. And today we're going to be looking at Sawmill Creek. The last time we did work on Sawmill Creek, we were playing measure five and six. So today we're going to put that together with measure three, four, five, and six, and do the second ending connecting it to measure eight. So let's go ahead and try that right at measure three. One, two, and ready. So hopefully you got the articulations correct with the slurs and then the tonguey. Now we get to the end of measure six and there's that repeat sign under the first ending. Where do we need to go back to? We need to go back to measure three. So let's try that again and let's do it together. One, two, and ready, second time. And where did I go? I jump to the second ending, so measure seven. It's different than the first ending. Um, you really gotta get, bounce your eyes over to it. So the second ending, we're jumping up to ta, ta, ta. So you use fast air trumpets for that B flat. Flutes, you're playing an A flat, clarinet, B flat. And saxes, not too bad, it's just a regular F, not an F sharp. F, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Um, trombones are A flat in third position, so we have to use lots of air. Let's start right on measure seven. I want you to listen and slide along. One, two, measure seven, and. And I'm connecting it to measure eight because that is a tricky, um, tricky pattern between the two. Uh, let's do that one more time. I didn't like how my first note sounded, so I'm gonna do it again. One. Two, ready, and. I liked how the first note sounded. I didn't like the four. Let's do this together one more time. Together, one, two, ready, and. Not great. Beat four, better. Beat one of measure eight. Not great. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, and. That sounded much better. Let's do it again to make sure we're consistent. One, two, ready, and. Hopefully that went well for you. If it did not, try it again. And actually, let's have you do it on your own. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, all right, if that didn't work for you, go ahead, practice that a few times, pause this video, get it to where you like what it sounds like, okay? So now we're gonna make some connections. We're gonna connect measure five with measure seven. This is the measure before the first and second ending. So we're gonna do measure five into measure seven, the downbeat of eight. So let's try that. One, two, and together, and. That was okay. I'm gonna say, I don't 
wipe the down bead of measure seven. It didn't sound great. I didn't use fast enough air and I didn't think about the pitch um, before I played it. So when I'm playing my instrument, I really need to think about where I'm going and almost be able to sing it in my head. That really helps us on a brass instrument. So let's do that again. One, two, and ready, and. <laughs> together and right. so now let's put the whole thing together we're going to start back at measure three and we're going to do it measure three the second time and jump to the second ending and then we're going to do the whole thing so measure three go to the second ending one, two, and ready. First time and the second. So three, first ending and second ending. Ending of the downbeat of measure eight. One, two, and ready. Um. <laughs> through eight and beyond so we can keep working that and hopefully get through this whole piece so good luck and thanks for watching